MMA rants and raves, the UFC signing of James Tony. Uh, first, I want to give uh, credit to an MMA fan that made a request for this video, Spiritual Susie. I want to thank you for uh, making that request because this is something that's been on my mind and I'd like to talk about it. You know, I got a rant about this whole thing. And that rant is, uh, the UFC president was interviewed about what he thought about the Herschel Walker signing. I don't know if you guys heard about that. Herschel Walker's a former, I think, Philadelphia Eagles running back. And he's like something like um, in his late 40s. And he was signed, I think, by Strike Force. And um, he won a fight. So they asked him about it. And, and he said, I mean, he didn't agree with it. You know, he, he basically said he's almost 50 years old. And what's he going to do in the sport? Now, let me tell you something. There's some merit to what he's saying. And I agree. What he's basically saying is, is that you have someone that's already post his career. You know, he, he's done playing football, and now he's considering mixed martial arts as like a post-retirement type of occupation. I mean, it has to be. He is 47. To his credit, he's in excellent shape. I mean, I was surprised that he's 47 years old. That guy looks like he's in fantastic physical condition. And it showed in the fight. I mean, although the guy he fought was a journeyman, it was, you know, he, he, he looked really good. His reflexes were, were good for a 47-year-old guy. That's, that's great. I take my hat off to him. I mean, that's wonderful. Uh, but, you know, getting back to what's, what the president said of the UFC, he says that, you know, it, that it's not good for the sport. Now, what, shortly after or during this happened, they signed James Tony, who's a 41-year-old boxer or ex-boxer, I think he's still boxing, and I looked at Tony, he doesn't look like he's in that good shape. I mean, he actually looks older than 41. Now, I know in boxing, you know, George Foreman was fighting in his 40s, and I think he had some success. He wasn't in the greatest shape. I think he was actually making jokes that he eats cheeseburgers to get more muscle or something like that back in the day when I, when I was watching some boxing. So maybe this guy still has a lot in him. You know, maybe he's still a very good boxer. It seems like his record is very good. So, you know, I, I give him all the credit in the world. He's probably a very talented boxer. It seems like he's won uh, fights in two different, in, well, in different weight classes or divisions. So obviously he's, uh, he's, he's like well-rounded within boxing itself. But here's the point of what I'm trying to make. The point I'm trying to make is what message is this sending to young athletes? You're a young athlete, you're getting out of college. You have different sports that you're thinking, that you're contemplating getting into, right? Now, you might choose basketball, football, or something like that. It pays good, you'll get into the sport. Now, you also like combat sports. You're thinking about boxing, for example. But you also like martial arts. You're thinking about all these sports. But then you say to yourself, you know what, I can make a killing playing a different sport like football and even boxing. And then look, you know, maybe when I'm in my 40s, when I'm done with my career, maybe I'll get into mixed martial arts. I mean, after all, Tony, James Tony's doing it, and uh, Herschel Walker's doing it, so I'll do it. See, you see the point here, guys? What kind of farm system are we going to have for mixed martial artists? It seems like all the good fighters are coming out of Brazil, uh... I guess, uh, I don't know, Asia, Europe, it seems, and that's good. But as far as the American fighters, what does the future hold? What kind of message is this sending to young athletes if they're just looking at this as, as a, as a post-retirement occupation? You know, and that's not what it should be. Mixed mar on the contrary, I think mixed martial arts, I think an athlete should be in their prime more than any other sport. Because you need so much to be successful in mixed martial arts. First of all, they call it mixed martial arts. You have to be well-rounded. You got to be good in many different types of mixed martial arts. Your cardio has to be really good. You know, this is a combat sport, and you got to have guts to get into the ring. I mean, you, you, got, you got to fight. You got to be prepared to get hit. You got to be prepared to hurt people. So you got to have a desire to be in this. I mean, of course, it's not like people want to hurt other people, but you know, it's competition and, and it's the love of the sport. But you have to be able to, to be involved in this. And, and you got to be an athlete that's just getting started. You're going to grow with the sport. You can't, this sport shouldn't be looked at as some post-retirement type of occupation. I mean, it, I don't think it's, it's the proper message to send across to young budding athletes that are just considering an athletic career and a career in sports. Now, why are they doing this? It's very simple. It's money. It's a business decision. 
they know this Tony guy, he's a vocal guy. He's also a successful boxer. If he comes into mixed martial arts, he's going to bring in a lot of boxing fans. And that's great. It's good for the sport. It's good for the sport to bring uh, fans from boxing into mixed martial arts. And the same thing with Walker. Walker is a former NFL player. I mean, it seems like he's been out for a long time, but I'm sure, you know, there might be some football fans that are going to follow him in, wondering what this guy's doing and even what mixed martial arts is. It's still not in the mainstream yet. You know, we all love it, especially, you know, myself. We all love the sport, but the bottom line is this is why they're doing it. I mean, just look at Brock Lesnar. He's a perfect example. The guy was a big WWE showman, very popular, and he must have brought in countless WWE fans into mixed martial arts. But it's different with Lesnar. Lesnar got in when he was like 30, 31 years old. That's when he got into mixed martial arts. The guy is in his prime, and he's a very gifted athlete. So it's a different situation with Tony. I mean, let's face it, what is Tony going to do in this sport? You know, just like they, he asked, you know, what is Walker going to do in this sport? What, what is Tony going to do? Who, who is he going to contend with? I don't know what this, ta guy's, this guy's talent is. I don't think he's ever fought a mixed martial arts fight. Not that I know of. And they signed the guy. So, I don't know, there's two ways to look at it. And that's the point of this video. I would like to know your opinion of what you think about bringing fighters, basically in their middle ages, when they're in the twilight or basically in the retirement stages of their career. Is it a good thing to bring guys like this into the sport or is it not? I want you to leave some comments. I'd like to know what you think about it. Please subscribe and thank you for tuning in.